Okay, I got my order in today from DCS. I just got the killer dowel pin uh, thing because it's easy. I got the whole gasket set from my local auto parts store. But there it is. My pin was already working its way out. So I needed this pretty bad. And I ordered their motor mounts. They're pretty expensive, but I needed them. And they sent the bolts, which is nice. Bolt them into the block. Uh, driver's side is longer than the passenger because the whole drivetrain in these trucks is offset to the passenger side. So I'll have another update on that once I get those on and get it test fitted in the truck. Put this killer dowel pin piece in. It's pretty simple. Oh, shaky camera. Oh, there, oh, 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 there we go. It's perfect. You can make that piece out of uh, anything, but it was easy enough just to buy it. Okay, torque this down. I don't know the torque spec. I'll figure it out. Hello, do a little bit of an update here. Um, I haven't put any videos up for a really long time because uh, my phone is just plain not working. I need a new phone. It won't upload anything to my computer. So um, I bought this cheap camera here. It's kind of like an action cam. It's got a wide angle lens. Just testing it out, it's real cheap. I mostly just use it as a dash cam. But uh, I took this deck off, big red last night, so I can get in here at the leaf springs and axle and stuff. I gotta swap out the rear axle. This is a Dana 60, I'm swapping it for a Sterling 10 and a quarter. Nothing wrong with this axle, it's pretty good, but uh, I'm putting a Cummins 12 valve in here, so. And the Sterling has a limited slip in it already. Um, Let's see, I have to, I'm going to lift this truck a little bit, about 4 inches, and these, I don't like lift blocks, these are factory lift blocks, factory installed, because um, this is a factory uh, original high boy. And I got this dually for parts, and you can tell the difference between a high boy and a dually, the normal F-250s. I don't think this was even a dually actually from the factory. I think somebody might have did, did that because it doesn't have the, the dually hubs. Or maybe that was just the thing they did for the F-250s. I'm not too sure. But um, it's a wider frame on a regular F-250 than it is for the High Boy. So the High Boy had special axles, a special frame. I'm going to have to do some modifying. I'm going to use... Uh, these front brackets because they drop down quite a bit further. I'm going to put them on the front there. I'll probably do a shackle flip in the rear and then get rid of the block. Or just put in a smaller block and maybe some traction bars. And that should take care of the rear. I lifted this whole deck off with the with the old Dodge here. She's just warming up today so I can move it. It's quite a bit of weight. My jack doesn't work in the winter. The oil gets too thick so I went and got some heat trace and some insulation so I can uh, plug it in, warm up the oil. Works good but it's got to be plugged in for like 12 hours before I can use it. Poor old Dodge looks like it's ready to do a wheelie here. <laughs> I got a video on uh, painting this Thunderbird. 
once I get the videos off my phone I'll put them up in the front uh, just got the Dana 60 sitting there it's not mounted I gotta cut these factory leaves off just cut the bolts I might use the springs but uh, they gotta move out because you can see where the the mount is on the axle there compared to the leaf I gotta move the leaf to outside of the frame not not under it with some brackets I'll probably steal from another truck get that all mounted up and then uh, start test fitting the Cummins in here I gotta fix these cab mounts and rocker panels and floorboards and stuff so quite a bit left to do on Big Red but I bought this dually for parts I'm gonna use the doors and the whole front clip and uh, probably some of the floorboards and cab mounts and stuff it's kind of a shame because it is kind of a cool little dually but I want my 4x4 high boy more be more useful especially being crew cab haul the kids around let's see if this uh, truck can move Okay, well, that's pretty much where she's gonna sit. I gotta do some work to get that chain on done because uh, when it was up on the truck, up higher, there was lots of slack, but now I can't let it down. Like I can't let the slack off that one side. But that's all right, because I actually want to tip this whole deck up and over anyways to finish cutting the underneath of it. So I might just tip it right now while I'm all hooked up.